Shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse. I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Welcome, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, to this edition of What a Horse. I have my wonderful co-host here, Miss Blaze Bacar. Hi. She's a world famous horse trainer. One day I'm going to grow up and be just like her. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you all for having me. You're welcome. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Welcome back to this edition of Water Horse. Like I said before, I have my beautiful, talented horse trainer here, Blaze Bacar. And I believe she got a little announcement that she's going to do. Yes, our, our first event for the year is the Walking Horse Alabama Auxiliary Lunch for Camp Smile a Mile. And that's on February 17th, 2024 in Huntsville, Alabama. And it is located at the Alabama A&M Agribusiness Center in Huntsville, Alabama. And you can contact David Latham at 256-572-1820, Gerald Campbell at 205-566, 6091 Nathan Clark at 256 505 1210 or Joan Kemp at 205 566 6090. And they're going to have stud fees on the top stallions in the industry. They'll be auctioned off. And since this event has been started, over $575,000 has been raised for Camp Smile a Mile. And That's what good. a horse will be there. Wonderful job. I'm glad you done that because <laughs> you're a, you's a natural. You, thank you, you, thank you. You're a, you's a natural. You're a natural. <laughs> well, we got a special video we're going to do, and this lady here, I believe, can talk about this horse better than anybody in the world can. 
Oh, I know this horse well. Yes. <laughs> um, I tell you, he's a he, he's a phenomenal athlete to to be around to get to work every day. Um, he's <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't have enough good things to say about him. He's got really all that it takes. I yeah. think I really really think he truly does. I tell you, every time I see you show this horse, I always I always come down to watch him because I always he, he got a, a a presence to himself. Thank you. He does. And you present him very well. Thank you. He does a, he does a good job on that right there. Ladies, I'm very proud of you, you know, doing this in this industry and being adding to that addition of the women that's training horses. You know, it ain't too many women that at your level that's been done this, you know. <laughs> Thank you. A, I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of it. I mean, I it's, mean, it's what I've always wanted to do. You make me feel old because I remember when you <laughs> was young <laughs> around the next <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I've come a long way for sure. <laughs> I guess it's pretty good that the you know a horse that you get started and you fool with yeah. and, and go and get to this four right. point. Yeah, it's really really neat. I mean, it's, I, I love which I love a colt. I love seeing them progress and especially to progress and get to win and do well at a high level. That's pretty neat. Yes. He's he's a talented, amazing animal to get to work with. That horse there, you done a, a real good job with him. <laughs> Thank I you. I tell you, you done a good job. You do a good job with all your horses. It ain't just that horse. I mean, a lot of your horses. Thank you. But, I mean, I guess, do you get pretty nervous when you get ready to go in the ring? And um, let your... Not really. I, in my own way, I guess I do. I'll get real busy doing something. Really? Yeah. yeah I if you ever see me just busy doing absolutely nothing, yes. you'll know I'm a little nervous. Yeah, but. I understand. <laughs> I, I feel you. Uh, yeah. I know how but is. what do they say? Uh, pressure is a privilege. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, my dad always told me when you stop being a little nervous about something, that means you need to stop doing it. Yeah, that's right. You know, because you don't, it don't mean yeah. nothing to you no more. Right. The you passion's know? not there. The passion's not there. But that's you right. know, I think when you fool with these horses and you fool with them all the time. Anything you put in the ring, you're going to get a little, right. little, little uptight about it yep. and stuff like that. But I'm so glad you're doing a lot better and getting around a lot better from thank your you. accident. You yeah, know? thank you. I'm, um, you know, I'm getting better all the time. It's, That's good. Uh, yes. Still have a little bit of a road ahead of me, I, but I, I, <laughs> it's, I understand. it's I understand. progress. I'm trying really hard to be patient and... Um, Patient. Uh, patient. That's, that's, <laughs> and that's, that's just a hard thing to do, like we was talking about yes. earlier. I mean, it's hard to do because you don't feel like nobody can do it like you want to be right, done. Right, exactly. And ask for help. And Those are two help, things you know, I'm trying to work and, on. And, and that is, you know, but but I believe with your success in this horse business, and I've been watching you over the years and stuff like that, and growing up in this horse business and stuff, I think you're doing an excellent job. Thank you. I mean, I'm going to put you up there with that Betty Saint oh, and Vicky that's, Self. Yeah, that's, and, Judy Martin and all that. So I mean, That's hey, great company. Yeah, I'm. Thank, I, you. thank you. I seen um where when you was was showing at the celebration. I think one big, the first time you showed in the big state class, yeah. and all and the whole, you got reserved in there. Yeah. And I mean, the whole crowd awesome. went went berserk yeah. over there. You know, and so I mean, that's a, that's a good. Deal. Yeah, that's that, a, that was the coolest moment of my yeah, life. I mean, I didn't care if I got dead last at night. Yeah, I sat right. there, I was like, man, I'm here. Like, but I'm you, dreaming But you had this. the crowd. I mean, yeah. you had the people that were there <laughs> watching, you know. And, and I'm going to tell you, sometimes everybody went first. Yeah. I know it ain't nothing like right. being first and, and making that victory pass yep. or whatever. But it just gets you so built up when that crowd, when you get second, that crowd cheer you on like you should have won the whole class. Yeah. I mean, it's... I mean that's a big that's a big thrill <laughs> yeah, about it, that. It was awesome. It was yeah. absolutely awesome. Yeah, I mean that's I'm 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 so proud. I mean I bet your mom and all your oh, family is so yeah. proud of you yep. <laughs> doing that. I bet she probably thought she didn't know what was going on after you got out of school right. that you want to be a horse trainer. <laughs> yes, it, it's finally smoothed over. <laughs> <to where. laughs> but you're successful at it. Though. Right. That's exactly right. You know, and, you got your own barn. Yep. You're doing your own thing. You know. Yep. So hey, that's right. That's that's the whole <laughs> biggest thing about it. But well, I've done a lot of talking. You got anything you want to say or? No, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, uh, you know, I just I kind of want to get on here for a second and just say thank you to everybody who's been just so wonderful. Like this industry's been so wonderful since I've had my wreck, uh -huh. and um, they've really, man, I just it's been a it's a been a humbling experience to yes. how everybody's really banded together from the texts and messages, everything, yes. calls. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Our our horse community is just amazing, and it. Uh, you're right. You yeah, know, this just, this business is like a family. Right. 
Absolutely. This is like a big family. You yeah. know, you have your bickering, you have your arguments, and you have your disagreement, but at the end of the day, everybody falls yeah. together. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. And they, they really have. I mean, they just, they've been absolutely wonderful. Yes, that's good. Yep. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad, you know. I know you had a lot of prayers out there, people yes. praying for you and stuff yep. like that. And they're working. For the best. They're yeah. absolutely mm -hmm. working. I can see you doing, you're doing yeah. real good. You're getting around <laughs> Thank real you. good. And taking it real well. Yeah. You know. Yep. And that, and that goes back, too, to everybody just being awesome. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. just really, truly just being totally awesome and just keeping me, um, keeping me motivated, keeping me, you know, um, keep my head up to get it, yeah. get back in the show ring. Well, you know, I, I feel privileged just being here, being right here next to you on the TV <laughs> show. You know, it make me feel like that I'm something special now. <laughs> now everybody going to think I'm Mr. Jerry Williams now because I got to sit here and talk to Blaze McCoy. I've been signing autographs now. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, <well. laughs> you know I'm I'm a, I'm a special guy now. My yeah. my rating gonna go up a little bit more. <laughs> I, I don't know about all that. <laughs> but I'm glad you you were here and took the time out of your yeah, busy time. Absolutely. You know, I know how it is. You know, trying to get stuff ready and watching people getting you know horses ready and stuff right. like that. You know, it's you get you get pretty busy there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I think we're going to do a little horse of the year thing, ain't we? Right. right. Our, our first horse of the year is uh, the reserve champion for the two-year-old stallion, and that's Spotlight on Jose 4G. And he is a world champion and reserve world grand champion. And he also won the Christmas in July in North Carolina. That's a nice horse right there. Yes, he is. He's, he's really good. Yes. You know, that's the thing with me, you know, I like to watch it on this video because right. you don't get to see it at the horse right. show and stuff like that. But you know, when you go back and watch it, it's... The two-year-old class this year was by a top tier, I thought. Yeah. The horses were really, really phenomenal. Bill and does, does a real good job with this horse right yes. here. Yes, yes they do. Mm -hmm. they, they do a real good job there. It's hard being a horse trainer and get to watch the shows. That's, right. You know, that's why I think, that's why I always say go back on these videos. I like to watch a video. A I picture love only can watching show the videos, yes. So much. That's good. The Adcocks, they've been really, really good for the horse business. Yeah, they have. Bob always have a smile on his face he every does. time you talk to him. He always have a smile and a real nice guy. He is. He's a cool guy. I yeah. like him a lot. That horse had a real good show season there. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. Big win winning the Asheville, yeah. too. You know, a lot of people realize it's, you know, the, for a trainer to work these horses and get them ready for the horse shows, I mean, it takes a lot. Right. You know. Absolutely. A two-year-old going out of town, you yes. know, as far as North Carolina and to perform like that. That's right. Really spectacular. All right, our next uh, uh, is uh, Kingpin, and he was reserve winner in the amateur 15 two and under. And Kingpin, he's a multi-blue ribbon winner and the 2023 reserve world grand champion. This horse has been consistently good throughout yes. the years. Mm -hmm. I love him. I, I love the way he walks behind. I mean, he just sweeps his yes. back in. He's, he's always been kind of a favorite of mine. Bob rides him great. Bob got some pretty good horses. Yeah, he, he does. He, he, he looked out and, and buy them pretty young and, you know, he gets right. some pretty good ones. horse always stays in the top. He does, you, yes, you, you you're absolutely him. right. He stays in the top there. 
He's consistent. I don't think I've ever really seen him make a bad, bad show. show. Yeah. For room walk, Bob. We'll let them come I was now. just thinking that, yeah. I love to watch this pair right here. They're, yeah. they're really just got two peas in a pod as far as. Yeah. <laughs> he shows them well. He really not shows shy them. Well. Running walk. No. That's one thing about this, you know, this industry. You competitive when you're showing against each other, but after the show, you back friends, you right. talking, and everybody's getting along. That's and everything exactly else, right. You know. Our next horse of the year is the amateur four-year-old stallion winner, and he was born a maverick. And born a maverick is a consistent winner. He is a two-year-old world champion, three-year-old world champion, and the 2023 four-year-old world grand champion. That's another nice one. First time I seen this horse was at a coat preview at, um, well, it's Sugar Creek now, but it was riding the star. Right. And Tony Palomina was riding him up and down there. Yeah. And he was a wall as a buck deer <laughs> down and down. You can see the talent yes. in him. Mm -hmm. Tony, he does a good job. Yeah. He does a good job starting it. I'm thinking I might be wrong. I think he started Spotlight on Jose, too. Okay, he might be, yeah. Yeah. Tony does a good job. He does a real good job. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, it's, it's pretty good to watch one that you started and, and then he goes on and somebody else might be training, but he go on and, right. and just make you feel absolutely. real good. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a real good, real, it's a real good feeling right there. But, um, but now I tell you, these horses is, um, is a talented animal. Yeah, they are. They, yeah. And they, um, every year seems like they get better and better. The talent is just unreal. Really? We have such a naturally talented yeah. horse. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we got some more video we're going to watch, some more of this, this award. All right. Uh, our next one is a Youth Pony winner, and that's the Ultimate Honor and Jack Harney. And they were undefeated, winning the Fast Spring Showcase, the Fun Show, Marshall County, and the 2023 World Champion and, Res oh, excuse me, World Grand Champion. He is a little horse rider. He, he, is a <laughs> he horse loves rider. it, doesn't yeah. he? He loves it. But you know, he, on both sides, like you say about horses, I always compare horses <laughs> to people. He's bred into doing right. it because his granddad was a horse trainer, his daddy showed horses. Yes. And then on the other side, on the, on the bottom side, half. Yep. <laughs> you know, his mama showed and, and, and granddaddy did. So. Right. Yeah, it'd be disappointing if yeah. he wasn't <laughs> doing what he's supposed to do, for sure. Like you say, he got some pretty good pedigree with yes. this <laughs> The guys at Premier, they do a really, really good job yeah, presenting horses mm -hmm. and putting them in the ring. They had a heck of a year this year. They did. I'm, I'm proud of them. Me I'm too. proud of all you young trainers that's out right. there and yeah. stuff like that. You it's know. cool. There, I mean, we need, we need more young trainers. Yes. Keeping this business alive, you know. Right, that's absolutely. The yep. Yeah. You know, you watching him, and pretty soon, Blaze, by the time you get to my age, then he be about your age. Right. And you <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Keep the circle going. <laughs> you know, he does, he does awesome. a really yeah. good job. And you know, I tell you, you watch that horse, that big horse right there, that little kid riding. Right. Right there, you know, that horse got to be well trained. So the person that trained Absolutely. that horse is doing a good job. Absolutely. Of making that horse focus for that little kid to ride him in that ring. Right. And it shows the temperament of the Tennessee walking well, horse. Yes. I mean, they mm -hmm. can take care of little kids, older people, whatever. That's right. Okay. Well. I guess we'll be right back after these messages.
The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Hello ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Welcome back to this edition of What Horse. I got... Miss Blaze McCars is doing a wonderful, wonderful job on helping me out. I, I don't think if it wasn't for her, I don't think I don't know what to do. <laughs> but um, I guess we're gonna go back to some of these videos on the horse of the year. All right, our next horse of the year winner is the adult pony, and for the Molly Walters family, it's Dark Rain. He won the Strawberry Festival, Christmas in July. Heart of Champions and is the 2023 World Champion and World Grand Champion. That's a nice horse right there. He's a nice, he looks like he'd be a blast to ride. Yeah. <laughs> I always like him, like he to blow like a bunch of dynamite. Right, you know, yeah. he'd blow back to you all the time and, and he's shaking his head back towards you instead right, of down towards, towards the ground. Yeah. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. Taylor, she does a good job. She's a good rider. Really, yes. really good rider. He does a good job there. That whole family does a good job. Yes, the they do. Is, and seem like real nice people, you know. Yes. They always talk and friendly and stuff like that, you know. Right. I was around them a little bit whenever I worked for Edgar, yeah. and they're just, they're awesome all the time. Just good, good people. We've had some great horses over the years. Yes. And it ain't nothing like working around a bunch of good horses. Right. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's... <laughs> When you round them good horses, I mean, it makes you want to go to the barn every day. Right. Absolutely. They're a blessing to work around. Yes. Taylor, she's done pretty good with those ponies there with uh, Mr. Trump. She won with yes. him and then Dark Rain. But it always helps you when you got a talented horse. Yes, absolutely. When you got a talented horse, you know. I'd say that was a fun ride right there. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you get that horseshoe around there, you go around right. there. It's, it's like, <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he's good right there.
Oh gosh, I love this mare. I love this mare. Yeah. The next is the amateur five-year-old mare and gelding winner, and that's my honeybee. And she's a multi-time blue ribbon winner, including the 2023 world champion and the United Fall Finale in Tunica, Mississippi. That is a nice mare. Yes. She's real good. I've liked her for a while. She's consistently good. Yeah. There's no effort for her. Right no. There. She uh -uh. just seems like everything's easy and smooth right. and stuff like that. But you know, lately here, you've been seeing some pretty good mares out there. You have. You know, yep. a long time ago, you see one or two has a real top mare, mm -hmm. you know, like the Victoria's Secret, you know, they're right. kind of top mare, but now you can kind of see more see and more. a lot more, that's right. A You're lot exactly more mares. Right. That's real nice. real sweet behind right, right. There. that's how I was just thinking our, yeah. our breeding has just got so phenomenal yes. just as far as I don't know if the horses got more talent now blaze or the trainers just got more talented on, right. on board you know, right yeah there? that's right but I'd say it's a little bit of both, both yeah yep you know, a little bit of both. Mayor ears up. Loves her job. Yeah, yeah. Love her job. Loves what she's doing. her job. I yep. like to see that. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was some pretty good stuff right there. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. Yes, really good. Well, we're gonna do a little bit more videos here. Our next horse of the year is the novice winner, and that's Paul Simmons and Patrick Mahomes. And they won the fun show and were the 2023 world champion and world grand champions. That's a real nice horse. Well, yeah. like I said before, when you start one, you like to see it. And right. I, and I started him. No so, kidding, I didn't yeah. know you started him. Cool. Yeah, I started him and he went to Tyler Balcombs mm -hmm. and then the, um, Went to Keith Blackburn. Mm -hmm. Not Keith, his son, uh, 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 Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, I'm sorry. Ryan. Okay. Had him, and then he ended up at Jimmy's. But I mean, that horse there was a fun horse to fool with. I'd say he was. Like he that. looks like it. Um, Terry Maneer owned him at that point in time, and mm -hmm. Terry sold him right after this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. To Paul Simmons. Both those gentlemen there, they're good, yeah. good fellas, mm -hmm. I think. Paul's a real nice guy, and Terry, he's a real nice guy. He's he's funny. I talk to him all the time on the phone. My wife always say, I believe you talk to Terry more than you talk to me <laughs> a lot. We we'll talk two or three hours on the phone yeah. at a time. Yeah. That's neat, yeah. He always talks about what the horse is and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's a, a real nice horse right there. Yes, now. really good. And I'm proud for Paul to win that novice class. I know, right? The novice yeah. class is so cool. Like mm -hmm. that's so I'm so excited for whoever wins that every yes. year. That's a that's a big deal. The only thing by now, you gotta go a step in the other division there. You right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you can't you can't go back in that no, class. You can't. <laughs> One and done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, and we'll go back to some more videos here. All right, our next winner is the ladies amateur specialty winner. That's Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. And they won Columbia, Owensville, Kentucky, North Carolina, and were the 2023 world champions. That's a nice, that's a nice mare nice right there. Mare, big yeah, mare. Big mare. She won one when you, I guess if you was a judge, you was judging a show and you look around and all thing else, you gonna, she gonna be doing that same thing. Same game. thing, yep. She gonna do that same thing <laughs> yep. both ways. Yep. Walks and shakes, yeah. doesn't she? I heard one judge always say when you confuse in the class, you close your eyes and you open them and that horse is gonna stand out. Right, yeah. It's gonna yeah. be the one gonna be standing out and you gonna pick. You're exactly right. Mm -hmm.
Ladies, you got your judge's license? I do not. Well, I'm in the process of getting it. Um, you need it. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the process of getting it. I, um, I've got to, you know, you have to apprentice three apprentice. shows. Yes. Yep. And so now I think I have enough time where I will stop yeah. and apprentice. <laughs> Walks off her back end, yes. doesn't she? That's a nice mare. Yep. Beth loves showing them horses. Yeah, she does. Yeah. She looks good on her. That was a, some pretty good, some pretty good videos we've had yes. so far. They real are good. I like doing, getting to see them. Doing real good, and I guess we're gonna come back with some more here, and see. I think next video is gonna be Miss Allison Armstrong. I right. Believe. Yes, our next winner is uh, Twisted with Honors for Allison Armstrong. And he's a multiple 2023. He's won multiple championships in Tennessee and North Carolina with both Tyler Balcom and Allison Armstrong. Mm. That twist with honors, I tell you, he, he's a nice, he's, he's a, a nice, nice horse. horse. Yes. He's a, he's a real nice horse. I think what Spence and them had him at first, right. didn't he? Yeah, yep. I thought so. Yep, and they did really well with him. Uh -huh. and, I mean, he's just consistently, consistently good. Um, I got to watch him, I guess, in North Carolina this year. Yes. And he was good. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a real nice horse, yep. real nice. I, I mean, I just, Allison's another person that's real good for the industry. I mean, yeah, she, she is. She she didn't do a real good job with the picking of our horses, and you know, and, and the Balkans that helped her out a lot. Right. You know. Yep. And stuff. And I, mean, it, I think it, it done a good job. Yeah, they've all been a real good team for sure. Yeah. They. She's been a good customer, and Balkans have produced for. Her. Yes, they have. They have, done a, they have done a real good job. Then the next horse is our um, the four-year-old Marin Gelding winner, and that's Smoking. And Smoking won the Fun Show, Christmas in July, the four-year-old Canner World Championship, and she was a Reserve World Grand Champion, and she was a winner of the North Carolina Championship. Now that's that, that's another real good one now. Yes. Yep. That that mare there was almost one of the ones almost could go in the state class. Right. Yeah, you know? she really could. She yeah. um the four year old state, she was really, really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. I believe she purchased during the celebration. Right. There. Yep. And Jimmy was showing her. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, she's a she's a real good one. Right, yeah, yeah, he did. And uh I guess Tyler took over the reins in North Carolina yeah, uh -huh. and won. Yep. I watched that class too, it was real good. I know, that, like you were saying earlier, it's hard to, you know, to watch, especially when you got horses to show in and, <laughs> right. you know, and get to and, you know, watch the shows and stuff like that. But I mean, but I can sit there and <clears throat> and watch that mare all the time. Yep. Yep. She just, she can walk and shake. Yeah. And the next one on her is? Is the Amateur Show Pleasure winner, and that's Kong. And he was undefeated in 2023 in open and amateur competition and he was the 2023 world champion and world grand champion. He was good, but he, 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 was, really <laughs> he good. was really good. I, that's a victory pass I can watch over and over again. Woo. You know, just like I say, I think that horse there, you know, you have certain show pleasure horses yes. that you can see they're gonna go a long, wide, long ways. Mm -hmm. Well, you take Epic for a while. Right. Won that show pleasure class for many years. Yes. And I'm gonna say this horse here be that type of horse. Right. I agree completely. Absolutely. To win it <laughs> like the other horses did. You know, yeah. you got certain horses that that go year, year, year after year winning, and that horse got the right year. To yeah, win. he does. He he really does. He he's a good, great, great athlete, great animal. 
I mean, that was a perfect class for him, I believe. Right, I a, agree. That was a real, yes. that was a real good class. Good choice to do in that. Right, I was just thinking a good, good move all the way around. Of, yes. You know, I always like to put a horse in a position where you think he's gonna do his best. At. Right. Yep. And I think he stands out in that yes. class right there. Yes, he's a, a superstar right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. He's an absolute superstar. And our our next, next yeah the next, next winner is um uh, me and Pocahontas and she won the 15 two and un over Marin Gelding and me and Pocahontas was the 2023 world champion they're undefeated in the pro am and the winner with multiple riders in both open and amateur divisions. <laughs> this mare's been consistently good over the years. Yes. I mean, time and time again, she goes in the ring, she's either going to win or be right there in the top. Yes. And it doesn't matter. I think she's had several, you know, several different riders, you know, from uh, Balkan Stables, I believe. And she, yeah. she, she produces every time she goes in the ring. Allen is another person that got a bunch of good horses. Yes. She, she got a selection of, of real good horses. She there. has a great, great lineup yeah. of them. I always remember, if you ever need a catch rider, I'm right here. For, uh, <laughs> right, uh, right, isn't I'm that right the truth? need a catch rider. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. You know, if, if Tyler got to show one yeah, or something like that, you need somebody else to show, hey. <laughs> Happen to have my suit. Happen to know? have the suit right here. You know, if I don't got one, I think I go and borrow one right quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I guess the next one here. The next video we got is um is uh, Br for, uh Bruce McDonald, and that is the men's amateur specialty winner, and uh, uptight Jose won that. He's a multi-time multi-time winner in the 2023. He's a world champion and world grand champion, followed by a win at the United Fall Finale in Tunica, Mississippi. Bruce. When you call Bruce McDonald's name, you can a lot. Right. <laughs> he's, yep. <laughs> he's another character now. Yes. I've been around Bruce for a long period of time. Him and Miss Robin, I mean, they always been real nice people. Right. They, mean, they're great, great folks, great for the industry. Yes, they are. They are, they are that there. I hope we get to see um, Robin sometime this year showing back. Yeah, I, hope, I you would know. love that. I hope but, so. But Bruce does a real good job on them horses. Yeah, he does. He enjoys it. And uptight he's been good for a long time as yes. well it's, mm -hmm. it's cool kind of you know going down the list here seeing these horses that are just time and time again yes just, mm -hmm. year after year you know right. he's still out here winning and competing right you know that's about the we about the only issue that you can see horses that turn world champion year after year right. after year you know yep that's that's uh, a testament for our breed yep. i believe mm -hmm. you exactly right The 
And the next one, Horace? Is a four-year-old stallion winner, and that's Cavender. And he's a multi-time blue ribbon winner and the 2022 three-year-old world champion and world grand champion, as well as a 2023 four-year-old world champion and world grand champion. But I tell you, that horse there, I mean, he's a nice horse. I think I first seen that horse as a three-year-old, I believe. Yes, yes. He was, and I mean, showing, and I can remember seeing him. And I mean, he always done good. Knox done a real good job of he's showing him. He's done a great job with him. A, a real a real good job, you know, and um, I think he'll be in that ring and be, be showing the state class. And I he mean, will, yep. Of course, has a lot of class to him, a lot of... Um, a lot of upside all the way around, a lot yes. of upside. I mean, he, he does it all. He's beautiful, he performs well, he's consistent every time he goes in the ring. Yes. He's I, gonna make a good show. That horse, that horse is, a, is a real nice horse. I say that state class this year be a real good class I this say year. it I, will. I, I'm <laughs> and you know what, I like that. Right, oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I'd rather see a state class that have five or six good horses in there right. instead of just one good horse. Right, absolutely. You know, and so you don't know which one you want to pick or whatever. You you look at many, you're thinking this one winning, and you look over here and you say, no, <laughs> I think this one here winning. Yeah. So I think it's, you know, it's, it's a good deal for all of it. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. I'd rather have a, a ring full of good ones. Yes. In there. Yes. Have a common repeat like it was this, this last celebration. It was celebration. so good, it was wasn't so it? Good. Yeah. And I think all uh, the riding back and forth and everything, you awesome. know, some people thought it was, wrong but i thought it made a crowd i loved it. it i loved every second of it i mean i was standing up i was hollering. yeah that's what i'm saying the, <laughs> yeah. the horse that you thought i you thought it was with, awesome you know, I thought yep. it was, had chills yeah, I chills <laughs> and everything so the next right. horse is uh the youth 11 and under horse of the year and it was a reserve champion it's the medalist with eli cunningham and he was the winner of five championships in 2023 and was a reserve world champion and reserve world grand champion. That horse there, he showed, I think, over there in Asheville or whatever, and I think right. he won three years in a row over mm -hmm. in Asheville. Yeah, over I there. think you're right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's that's another horse that goes in the ring all the time, really, really does a good job. And to have, you know, an 11 and under rider, that's right. it's awesome. Um, he takes care of him the way he does. Eli does a good job. I'm glad for the Wilson family. You yes. know, James Wilson, I mean, he's... They're good, uh, they're good folks. Good people, you know. He's he's probably everybody with the, the shavings and stuff like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? He just, James always have something to say every time you see him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guarantee just, it. I like him. I like him a lot now. Yes. He's one of the first guys I met when I first moved up here to Tennessee. Really? Back, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, he's always, he's always been real nice. Yeah. Eli, he's got horse in his blood. He loves it. He'll be a, he'll be a horse trainer, I'd say, for sure. Yes, he for will. For sure. He will. Well, I think we'll be back. We'll be right back after these messages. Cold weather affects all animals differently. Animals can handle cold weather and they can handle wet conditions, but when you put both of these together, it can be extremely dangerous. Horses can naturally withstand 0 degrees Fahrenheit. With shelter, they can survive below negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. All horses have what is called a lower critical temperature. This can vary depending on where the horse lives. If it gets below the horse's lower critical temperature, they will need to consume more hay to produce more body heat. With the colder weather, the accumulation of dried material without adequate water can result in impaction colic. Eating snow or licking ice can help, but it's not a sufficient water source. Most horses prefer water between 45 degrees Fahrenheit and 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. Welcome back to this edition of What a Horse. I'm back here with the world famous Miss Blaze McCarr <laughs> right here. Well, we're going to go back to some of these Horse of the Year awards. Our next Horse of the Year winner is the Amateur 15 2 and Under Stallion. Formaline with Carol Baxter. Formaline is undefeated in the 2023 winning Heart of Dixie Fun Show. It was a 2023 world champion and world grand champion, and then went on to win the Alabama Jubilee. That's, that's a heck nice, of a year right there. Yeah, that's a nice horse right there. Nice horse, really uh -huh. is. And you know, the thing about this horse here is. He don't get to show a lot because they don't have a lot of shows down there. Right. So pretty much every show that, you know, the Watts come up to have to be up this way because yep. they don't have too many more shows right. down in the Mississippi area or where they're at. So Carol, she only gets to show at, at the Just bigger shows. Few. Right. You know, but now she's a real nice lady. I've been knowing super, her for super lady. a long time. She's from Louisiana where I'm from. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was happy for her. That horse is good. She's a real nice lady. Dale Watts, they do a great yeah, job. They do a, great they job. do a real good job. Dale's a nice guy. Yeah, he's Talk super, to him. isn't he? <laughs> the other day on the phone, he was at a, this guy through, um, at a basketball okay. competition. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're real big into basketball as well. Yeah, uh, coaching, coach, right? Yeah, both of them. They get up early in the morning, ride in the morning to about, I think about 11, 12, and they leave and go Ooh. coaching the rest of the day. <laughs> Hard workers, for sure. Yeah, they are. That shows they come to town, they handle business. Yes. Six oh three in 
Is this here? Is this down in Philadelphia? I think so. I haven't been there in or like the heart of Dixie, yeah. I believe is. I went there a long time ago when I worked for Edgar. I haven't. I'd like to go this year, bring some horses down there, support that show. Yes, I, I'm, I think I'm gonna take some it's, horses down yeah, there. Yeah, it's show a good facility. It's a good place to, to have a horse show at down there. And I, let's see, the next one is the amateur 15 2 and under stallion. And it was a reserve winner for Shane Porterfield, and that's cousin Bob. I, that's another good horse right there. Yes, yeah, he sure is. Cousin Bob is a multi time blue ribbon winner in both open and amateur competition in 2023, and he's going to be campaigned with his new owner, Shane Porterfield, in 2024. Okay, every time I see this horse show, uh, every time I see this horse show, I mean, he's a nice horse. Jim O'Connor done a real good job. Right, he sure has. Showing that horse there. Yes. I mean, he, I mean, he done a good job. And, and I tell you, Hayden yep. really done Hayden's a real good done job. done a great job. He done a great job with that horse. You know, I had a chance at the last show that they had down in, at White Pine mm -hmm. and stayed with him. I got to watch him every day. Oh, nice, yeah. Watch him. And I mean, he's a, he's a real nice horse. Yep. A, a, a super, a super nice horse. I know Hayden was, when you got one good like that, and when somebody buy him a movie, you, you, you feel like, you know, you want to sell him, but then you feel like, oh, I believe I'm losing more than a good right. like this. It's such a catch-22. Yes, it is. <laughs> and our next winner is the 15 2 and under stallion, and that's I Am Mighty Jose. And he is the winner of multiple blues in both open and amateur competition and is the 2023 world champion. Was this uh, Tanner's? Yeah, first Taylor. world championship. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. That's pretty cool. Really Taylor, super cool. Yeah, that's good. That's like I say. My hats off to all y'all young horse trainers out there. Yes. It, it's feel like it's, it's keeping the business going. Right. And you. And you know, I tell you, to me, y'all have different ideals than us older people. And I think that's what helps the industry going. Yeah, you that's know. right. It's, I think, you know, you got to come up with something different and something new and whatever. And some of the old people got to sit down with <laughs> them and say, hey, we're going to let y'all younger people kind of take over a little bit and kind of do stuff. It, it's uh, just, I guess, the way everything works. We yeah. learned something from y'all. It kind of, you know, it just, it, everything balances Balance itself. Yeah, yeah. You, you to better exactly, the industry, for you, sure. You are exactly right on that. You are exactly right. Um, let's see, what's the next video here? All right. And it's uh, the 15 2 and over stallion reserve winner, and that's Honor and Remember for Kim and George Lewis. And Honor and Remember, he's a complete champion and a true competitor throughout the year with wins at the uh, Woodbury, Heart of Champions, Alabama Jubilee, and the Celebration Fall Classic. This is a horse I, I like to go up and watch him, watch him show or work or anything. He just, I really, really enjoy this horse right here. Dan's done a great job yeah. with him. Mm -hmm. Dan, and I tell you, if you, Dan remind me of a younger, Think of Jimmy McConnell. Yes, he's gonna have to stay class. He gonna have something to show in it, or he gonna right. he gonna show and he gonna travel to go to all yes. shows to show. Yes, he's I, good for the industry. I mean, he, he's very good. Dan is very good for the industry. And I'm so proud of his new place that he's yeah, at. Yeah, he's now. really successful. That's great. I'm they doing a lot of work. I was over there the other day. They're doing mm -hmm. a lot of work on that place and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm proud for it. Yes, me too. Me very, too. Very, very proud.
And now we can that walk in Horse State victory pass right here in Huntsville 2023. Well, Blaze, you know, we've been talking about all these horses and everything and stuff like that. Out of all the years that you've been trained horses and stuff like that, what would you say your, your best show, your best sh show that you made, what best show you've been, you've been to and you thought you, that, um, that sticks out in your mind? For myself? Yeah, for yourself. Uh, well, we talked about it earlier. They, uh, when I was reserve in the stake in 2017, I felt like my horse was good, and I felt like I went in as a trainer and jockey and everything else. Yes. I made a, a a perfect show. You know, yeah, you always uh -huh. kind of strive to not make mistakes, and yeah. I went in. You know, like you do, you've got to have a perfect show. Sure. Yeah, and That's, coming out of there, I was I did the job. That's, you did. You did do good. And I tell you, you present a horse very well. You sit up. You know, I mean, that's the whole biggest thing. Thank is you. equitation and everything else about this horse business, you know. And I yes. think you've you done a real good job. Thank you so much. You've done, you done a super job on on doing that. And I, and I will say you probably are an inspiration for a lot of other people that want to get in this and start showing horses, you I know. I hope so. I, I really hope you, so. You know, you're very good. And I learned that you are on the board of the Trainers Association. I am, yes. I'm honored, and, honored and to be that's, on. That's a good deal. I'm glad you are. But now that's, I'm, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I am, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. The success you have made in this horse business. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. But, well, so did you like it? The, they're doing the show. Did oh, you, I absolutely you, loved it. Yeah, you, yes. Like I absolutely it? loved it. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, anytime. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming and stuff like that. Yes. You made me feel like I was somebody, <laughs> you know, today. But, uh, well, like we said, all at the end of the show and stuff like that, y'all good luck and be careful at this horse show season. And thank you, Blaze. <laughs> yes, thank you. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, What a horse! I know they're talking about me, of course, and I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking. Thank you.